What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Zox, and we're back with some more Dislike. Now, we're going to be getting into a very unique unit, and this is going to be Catherine. Now, Catherine is one of a kind uh, and one of the few units that can actually do what she does the way that she does it. But of course, guys, if you do end up finding that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best Dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it because we don't got no time to waste. All right, now, first things first, let's talk about what Catherine has to offer in her kit, um, and then we'll jump into how to build her, right? Now, Catherine has a S1 called Nightfall Grief, so it attacks an enemy twice, each dealing damage equal to 65% of attack with a 50% chance of inflicting miss up rate for two turns. Now, the thing is, is that increases miss uh, rate up by 50%, or uh, what is miss rate up? Um, I did have a video that kind of go went a little bit deeper into what that is, but it's just essentially the chance of things landing, right? Just to kind of simplify it now um this in her passive which is called bone pass absorbs one debuff from all ally espers at the start of every turn granting five percent ap to all allies per absorb debuff so if you're going up against some really debuff extensive opponents this passive ends up being really really good right now um when we get into her her S3, which is her last ability, Underworld Presence, deals damage equal to 110% of attack to all enemies and grants standoff to all ally espers for one turn. Cooldown resets if any ally dies during the cooldown period. So the interesting thing about this, it's kind of sort of a, uh, not really a countermeasure, but kind of sort of. Like if somebody strips this and then kills someone within the cooldown period, you're actually going to be able to get this ability to reset. So this is kind of ridiculous, um, you know, when you're just talking about overall just being able to help sustain a team, right? Uh, now, the thing is, she's the only character in the game that can give AoE standoff right now. Uh, and AoE standoff, um, especially with the upcoming patch, is going to be really, really good because it won't be affected by AP anymore. So that's something that is going to really, I would say, skyrocket the value of this S3 for her. Um, and it's already at an extremely high value. It's on a three turn cooldown. So it ends up being really, really good. And then of course, because she can purify, she just is overall a really solid unit to use in a pretty decent amount of situations or scenarios, right? Now let's go ahead and get into her kit. Now her, her kit consists of a couple of different things. It all really depends. Now I mentioned in the Queen Mother video, this is one of the only other characters that you can kind of get away with doing the Astral Witchcraft set on. Um, and that's because she is really there for support, right? So the Ottoman Tine uh, set is another one that you could probably see on her as well. But what I actually decided to go on um, or utilize for her uh, based off the comp that I use, um, is, is Windwalker with HP bonus with um, the HP bonus on the second slot and speed on the very last one. So one thing that's kind of important to Catherine is making sure she's not getting lapped um, and just kind of rotating, you know, just as evenly as everyone else. So that's kind of, uh, you know, really important there. Also, sustainability is really important to her, keeping her alive as long as possible. So really, when you're looking at what you need to focus, it's really accuracy, speed, HP, and some defense if you can, um, really are the most important stats to her, right? Now, let's go ahead and look at her ascension. And as you can see, oh, resist as well. So HP, defense, and resist very important stats um obviously resist is a really huge one because you don't want her getting debuffed if at all um so again she is able to purify that from her allies but you still want to make sure that she's not getting like cc'd prior to or anything like that because it really would kind of damper that entire setup right so then when we're talking about resonance obviously it's going to go straight into hp hp or defense kind of all depends on like what you prefer um but really for me i felt like hp was the way to go right now that's really just about it in terms of building her she's not over complicated but i will say that uh finding a team for her might be one of the more harder things so let's go ahead and get into that so we're going to go ahead and we'll show her off in a pvp scenario and we'll try to actually, let's re go ahead and refresh this. Try to find a team that I know is going to be doing some type of debuffs to some degree. This seems like a pretty good one. Uh, and what we'll actually do here, we'll keep our speed lead. We're going to take Yussi Hua off. And we're going to go where our tanks here. So uh, you'll usually see her on a lot of tank comps in PvP. 
Um, and that's if anyone is actually deciding on using her for PvP. That's where you'll definitely see a lot of use um, for her, right? So let's go ahead and show this off. See what we can do here, all right? Now, the cool thing is, is like pairing her with someone like Renzi, he gives himself standoffs, so there is that. But let's go ahead and push my team. And it's cool, too, because this team was actually a lot faster than my units, which wouldn't have been an issue as much because any debuff, she would have been able to help with that. Now, what we're able to actually do here, if we were to use the S3, um, it's going to grant everybody uh, standoff, right? Now, the thing is, is that if I'm expecting that potentially my team could get killed or somebody could get you know wrecked, um, it is a possibility with the Sanders and maybe the Louis. Um, but we have immunity coverage for one turn for everybody. Um, and it looks like um, Tai is going to be going up next. So technically, we could hold off on this. But because of video sake, just to kind of show it off, we'll go ahead and use it. And it gives the entire team standoff. So at least when it comes down to someone like trying to one shot, I think someone that has one shot potential might be Sanders. Um, and considering we're not using like any like defense buffs or anything like that, uh, it's just kind of a little bit of a safeguard. So we're going to go ahead and do this for redistribution. We're going to try to land the AoE taunt if possible. Okay. So we got three of the units there forcing their S1s into a death. There we go. Uh, now we're going to actually go ahead and counter. We'll get rid of the Sanders here. He's dead. Now we got a conductor mode up. And this is like, bro, like I'm telling you, man, tank, the tanky teams are actually pretty, pretty damn good on defense. Um, you can kind of use them on attacks, but not as much um, as some other uh, team comps. Now with Sally, I guess for the S1, we could try to go for the miss up rate. She doesn't really ne land anything negative. So normally you would use that on Dai, but this might kill him. Yeah, so it did proc the miss up rate, but that would have made it a lot harder for him to land his seer. So now we're gonna go for our speed down. Still gotta worry about uh, Sally, but she was taunted. So she had no uh, choice but to go for her S1. She does give herself immunity, which kind of sucks. We still got to deal with this invincibility on Yasihua, but once that is um, stripped or taken off or dispels or goes away, we are pretty much set on the win. Um, now, keep in mind, you've seen that Purify went off. That happens every turn. One debuff for every single character goes off every time character or character Catherine goes. So it ends up being a really, really OP on how she works. So now we got that. Let's go ahead and finish off this Yasihua. Uh, should be almost done. I hope she doesn't HP balance. So she's gonna make it take longer. All right, so now we're gonna go for the S3 again. All right, yeah, she did do it, of course. Of course she would. All right, that's okay though, because we're gonna go ahead, give us that defense break. Go ahead, clean that up. Oh, oh, almost, okay. Yeah, but that's pretty much that. The fight really isn't gonna go on too much longer. We pretty much secured the fight. Uh, but Catherine was a huge part to that, making sure that we were able to have a little bit of sustain there. Any extra debuffs we would have had, she would have cleansed. And then, of course, the missile rate proc is definitely really good on units that you know can give bonus damage. So that's pretty much going to be that for Catherine um, and what she's able to actually offer a team. But let me know what you guys think. Do you have Catherine? Have you built her yet? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.